Hello, everyone, and welcome to the one and only Tulsa Uncut, powered by Titan Title and PMC. We are sitting here today with some amazing people, and I can't wait to tell you more. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Who do we have at the table? Uh, right now, you have the one and only Soup Carter. Hey, it's Stacey Turnage. All right, and as you can see, they have a shirt that says place. I bet you want to know more, so sit tight. We're going to talk a little more. So... Welcome, everyone. I'm glad Thank you're you. here. Thank you. Um, Thank you before we jump into the big question, let's talk a little bit about you guys. Stacy, tell me all about you. Oh, so where do I start? So Keep I'm it G-rated. Oh, <laughs> shh, don't tell about that part. Keeping her in line. So I am an industry vet. I've been in the industry since 1993. I've done everything from loan processing. I've done affordable housing for Los Angeles County. VP of Mortgage Banking Ops, and my last gig in the industry was um, a foreclosure manager for Goldman Sachs at a loan servicer. So I've been in the industry for a while. And how long have you been a real estate agent? I was licensed December of 2017. Wow, very nice. That's like yes. a few years before COVID decided to take over the world. Yes. That sounds really fun, yes. right? And Soup, what about you? Well, I um, come via the medical field. I started in the medical field years and years ago. Uh, I did about 18 years in there. And then uh, I woke up one day and decided that I wanted to change careers. And I didn't think uh, the medical field was for me anymore. So I was like, well, what do I want to do? So I had a couple of friends uh, approach me and they were like, hey, I think you'll be a great fit in the real estate business. And I was like, what, really? <laughs> and so, so uh, you know, here we are today. i am uh, been licensed for almost a year now, and I am absolutely loving this journey of becoming a real, or stepping into the industry of the real estate industry. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice. So I'm, I'm in it, it is a fun industry. It's busy. It's fun. It's every day is a new day. So, I mean, it's my favorite industry and it's all I've known for 15 years. So I get it. Um, okay. So without further ado, let's jump back in. What is place? I see the shirts. Like, tell me a little bit about that. So place is we're a technology company. People make it deeper than that, or they make they want to make it deeper than that. They want us to find out if we're a brokerage, but really we're a technology company that offers end-to-end -end technology for the consumer and the agent. So what does that mean? So first and foremost, we offer the agent technology that they've not seen before. Okay. It's overlaid with the IDX, the MLS feed. Um, they can send listing alerts from that, from that technology. The client has access to a client portal where they can see once we go under contract all of the steps that their transaction goes through. So it's basically all the tools for home all in one place. Okay, so place is not a brokerage, correct? It is not a brokerage. Is it broker agnostic? It is broker agnostic. We okay. happen to be Keller Williams agents, but ha there are EXP agents that are place agents or their businesses are powered by place. There are Century 21. There are real agents, Keller agents, all kind of agents are welcome to come to place. So if somebody, you know, wanted to join forces with you, join your team, or I, I don't, is it a team? It is. Okay. Wanted to join your team. Do they need to be Keller agents only? Yes, they do. Okay. They need to be Keller Williams agents and they need to move their license to my Keller Williams office. Okay. So as far as the place technology, where did it come from? Like, can you give, do you know the history on that? I do okay. actually. Um, ben Kinney, one of our co-founders started Brivity, created Brivity. Brivity was a CRM that he created from an agent's perspective for agents and it just went wild from there. So every day we get a new feature. Like I can tell you in my database, how many people are looking for a listing, whether it's my listing, your listing or soups listing, I can tell you that I have 1500, 200 people looking for property just like that one. That is pretty amazing. It's amazing. It that is amazing. It's okay. Really cool. So <laughs> a lot of brokerages, I think, you know, they have the technology, the classes. Do you guys offer that with place? Do they have the trainings and things like that as well? We absolutely do. Okay. That is pretty fantastic. Yeah. It's how, how big is place? Like, um, we are probably several hundred teams strong okay. and we're also international. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yep. 
So how did soup, how did you get into, how did you, yeah. How did you guys both, I mean, you can go first or you can go, whoever wants to go. How did you get into place? How did you hear about it? What made you, because you said that you were a color agent. I was. Or so you are, I guess. Right. So how I got introduced to place is I did a referral for an agent in Arizona. And I thought the name of her team was place. <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's such a cute name. And she's like, Oh, you have no idea. And I'm like, uh, apparently not. <laughs> so we jumped on a 10 minute zoom call and I was introduced. So with that being said, when to join, I created a team, founded okay. a team and then was able to join. Okay. And so soup is obviously on that team. <laughs> soup, how'd yes. you get on team? Well, <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, thanks to you being at the coffee shop. And then of, of course, one of my good friends, Tootie Valdez, Tootie Valdez shout out to Tootie you. Valdez out there for introducing me to Lori, which is ultimately you introduced me to uh, Stacy here. So I didn't know anything. I was in between brokerages. Um, I was at a brokerage and then I wanted to, you know, switch brokerages. And so that's when you introduced me, introduced me to uh, Stacy. And I didn't know what the brokerage was, not the brokerage was about, but place was about until I sat down with her and, you know, she laid it all out. It was just amazing. I mean, you know, we all go to a buyer's uh, uh, consultations or a seller's consultation, right? This right here was the most laid out presentation I can possibly think of, you know? And so, uh, it just felt, it felt like home, you know, uh, that I just felt really comfortable by just walking into this room and I, you know, I'm brand new, still yeah. brand new in the industry. So she made it so easy and simple for me to continue to walk into a new career. So as a newer agent, um, coming in on it, would you say, cause obviously you were with, with someone else before, how do you compare the two? Uh, it's night and day. Okay. It, it's absolutely night and day. Um, the other brokerage that I was with, they were smaller brokerage. I mean, sure. it was nice. Uh, but you asked the question a while ago about training and stuff like that. Well, that was the number one thing that I needed as sure. a, as a brand new person on anything, whether you're in sports or you going to school for anything. You want the training. You want the best training. That's how we're going to become the best. And so Stacy offered that to me sure. up front. It wasn't hidden. It was no hidden agenda or anything like that. It was absolutely laid out right there. Here, here go the documents right there. And so I, I really needed the, the training part. And now that I got the training, I feel like I'm, I can really move into the uh, career path that I, that I'm destined to make. You know, I see a lot of agents getting, you know, a lot of people get their real estate license and their biggest, you know, a lot of the people I meet with are really honestly a lot like how soup was. They're like, I've got my license. I went here because I didn't know any different. And now I don't know what I'm doing. Like, can you help? And you know, nine times out of 10, I'm, that's my first question. Are you where you need to be. Like, what do you really need? And honestly figuring out because yeah, you've got your license, you can pass the test, but to apply that is overwhelmingly scary. I think that's safe to say it's a different world Absolutely. when you're actually out there having to figure out how do I gather business? How do I collect business? How do I run the technology? What do I do? What works? What doesn't? And it seems like place just kind of lays it out there for like, has the way already paid. Actually, Rockford Avenue has the way way already paid. Ooh, yes. tell me. Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm confused. Wait, we've been talking place. Rockford Avenue. What is Rockford Avenue? So Rockford Avenue is... It sounds like a song. I know. It's near and dear to my heart. It's actually the team name, and we're powered by place. Okay. So place is the technology that fuels the way we do business. Ooh. So one of the reasons and one of the things... Let me start here. So Rockford Avenue is the street that I grew up on. Where at? in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, so I was okay. born and raised here, moved away, was gone 26 years, came back, got my real estate license and thought, what could I do to have an ode, if you will, to, you know, my city. Right. Oh. So that was Rockford Avenue. So hence Rockford Avenue was born. What makes the team different is me. And I'm not saying that to be arrogant, but it's the truth. I come with 30 years of industry knowledge, well-rounded, and Soup's right. I do hold your hand in a lot of ways. He walked in, he had two transactions that he had at the previous brokerage and they would not help him, right? Yeah. I set him down 
He is a great student from the perspective of he's good at saying, this is not, I don't know how to do this. I'm going to watch you do it. And then I'm going to make it my own. And that is what sets Rockford Avenue apart from most teams. So it, it kind of gives them their their structure and then they can go in and add a little bit of flavor to Correct. it. Correct. I like Absolutely. that. Correct. I like Absolutely. the ability to, to, do, to do that. It's, it's kind of like a bio. Like you, you, you know, you do a uh, bio and then people can basically write down um, information on you and then they learn you yeah. and then they, they meet you where you're at. And that's what Stacy and Rockford Avenue has done for me, met me exactly where I'm at instead gotcha. of just saying, oh, well, you got a skill set to go talk to people. I can talk to anybody, but sure. I still need a skill set in order to really dive into your, your clientele that you're trying to, to meet. So, which is really important. I mean, they need to have that fundamental and foundational thing, but everyone's got to go in and do their own. You know, I, I preach this all the time when I'm, I'm helping agents, don't try to take someone else's approach mm -hmm. and make that. Don't try to mimic them. Like everyone has their own seasoning, their own flavor. And, and truly God has your people already laid out and designed because they want to work with you because they like who you are. Right. They don't want you to pretend to be me or me to pretend to be her. Like that's not what we're doing. Right. And so if you stay authentic, I mean, as long as you have the fundamentals and the foundation and the expectations of, Hey, here's your parameters. Now go sauce it up. Usually right. you're going to attract your own business because people are like, Oh my gosh, I love that person. They're right. so fantastic. And I tell mm -hmm. people all the time that Rockford Avenue is kind of like an old school neighborhood where <laughs> everyone helps energizes, supports, and cheers for one another. I love that. That is, that's like the culture right there. That should be like your culture motto. <laughs> right, right. I dig on that. Absolutely. We'll make sure that that's edited perfectly so that way you can put it on the wall. Right, Trent? <laughs> Trent, he's not on camera this time, but he's back there. He's hiding. Yeah, I do have a mic over here, but I'm just trying to, I don't like myself on camera. He doesn't like himself. Yeah. We're going to work with him next week. We'll be therapy. <laughs> therapy no, I'm just kidding. Yes. Okay. So Rockford Avenue, how many, how many of you Rockford Avenue friends do we have? So we have a total of five agents. Okay. So can I say their names? I would love for you to give <laughs> a shout out. I to just them. wanted to make sure it was okay. So obviously I have the infamous soup Carter who is sitting at the table with me. And to be it, honest, it's so interesting because people either think we're related. <laughs> um, he's my son. That's how we're related most yeah. of the time. Or they think um, he's my man. Ooh, okay. And he's All right, none Cougar. Of those, uh, <laughs> okay. And he is none of those things, but he is an amazing personality. And I found that Appreciate when he's it. in the room, one of the things I can do is kick back and watch because mm -hmm. I don't have to always be on. So I appreciate you for that. I, appreciate I have you. another agent who's dual career, Brett Cox. We see Brett, but we don't see Brett as much. But Brett has been licensed for a couple of years, has small kids. He's doing his thing. We have a brand new agent, Michelle Jones. She literally answered an ad after she took her license. I met with her. She sent amazing questions and onboarded in like a week. Love that. Absolutely. And then I just onboarded a seasoned agent, Siobhan King. She started and was at our team meeting this morning. So it's five of us total. Siobhan is amazing. Yes. Love yes. her too. Yes. Big heart. I'm um, telling you. She mm -hmm. I, already. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I anticipate love more the people team. to to come before the end of the year. Well, you know, I think one of the ways people in this you know, Tulsa is a little big city, a yep. big little city. However you want to spin that, that's what it is. Um, everyone's intertwined. But, you know, the thing I love the most about Tulsans specific is that we are so community driven in every way. You have like these little pockets of people and they cater to their neighborhoods, their community. So what I'm I'm putting you on the spot. Do you guys do community stuff? I we hope do. the answer is yes. yes. Okay. We do. Tell us what you do. <clears throat> we do. So. I will give all the credit to Sue. I mean, <laughs> here we go. Can we put the so, cameras all on Sue just so he has his magic moment? Yes. So we were sitting around one day talking about databases and how to engage the community and how current teams are doing it, right? If I see another home buyer seminar um, ad or a first time home buyer class or Listen. something like that, I am going to scream, right? Because the industry has not is not changed changing it has changed so we were sitting down like brainstorming on what we could do and soup said hey let's do real estate pop-ups and i'm like 
hmm, <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. So if you know me and know me well, you know when I call you or when I see you, I always say, hey, that's mm-hmm. just my thing, right? I get, hey, girl. Exactly. <laughs> it's just what I do. It's so bad. But anyway, I I took that idea and created this massive campaign around it in this event, and we call it Hey Tulsa. So we meet or we have an event where the community can come out and engage in real estate in a conversational way. We have done a couple of happy hours where we just sit around and just chit chat, talk about real estate, talk about the kids, talk about the pets, talk about their bad day at work. We had some teachers at our very first one who had, that was their last day of school. So they were, I know they were happy about that. So we've had a couple of happy hours. We have another one coming up Sunday and it will be brunch and it's going to be in Broken Arrow. So we're going around the Metro having the events so we can just engage the community differently because everybody, once they figure out you're a real estate agent, the first question that they ask is how's the market? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So they want to ask that question, but they then don't want to be sold or ask if they need something to, you know, need to sell something or ready to buy or downsize and move or whatever the case is. So we created the environment where you can just come kick it. You can have a drink, you can eat, we can talk real estate, or we could just talk about your day. I mean, if you're asking that question, let's just ask it now. How is the market? <laughs> the market is wonky. That is the okay. best wonky. Way. Wonky. W O N K Y. Wonky. Wonky. When I first was licensed in 2017, people could say it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. Obviously, that was supply and demand, right? Sure. Basic econ econ 101. Right now, inventory is very low, but there are buyers and people out there buying. Like it is still depending on what, you know, neighborhood, what price point, location, price size, all of that stuff still matters. You could easily be in a multiple offer situation. I've been in a couple of the last couple. So if you're thinking about selling, you better get on it. Yep. Get on it. We need inventory. Yes. Or we're going to start knocking on your doors and and offering you to buy buy you out of your house. Absolutely. Um, Whenever you do these meetups, are you going to like, where, where do you go? We do different things. So Soup's job in all of this <laughs> is to find the location, right? Okay. Yes. Because he is everywhere about town. Coffee shops, bars, anywhere there's a happy hour, Soup knows about it. I don't even know, right? <laughs> so our first one we had held at Bar 473 in the Kendall Whittier area. Shout out to Bar 473. Then we had our second one in downtown Tulsa at Rosa Cantina. Okay. Um, both were great events, but they were five to seven. So the one we're having Sunday, we switched it up a little bit and we're going to do noon to two at Toast and Broken Arrow on Main Street. Okay. So when you pick these places, Soup, are you looking for... Like locally owned, franchise, non-specific, cool vibe. Like what is it you're, in in case you're a business owner (laughs) and you want to have them do an event, this is for you. Stay tuned. Here we go. Absolutely. So one thing that when I came to Stacy with this idea, one, one, not knowing a lot about the industry and I wanted to get my hand into a lot of stuff and I'm everywhere. Like, like Stacy said, I'm, I'm, I'm no stranger nowhere. I go and I just hang out and stuff like that. And so when I came up with this pop buy of um, real estate and when she came up with the idea with Hey Tulsa, I was just sitting back like, man, we can do this every month and X, Y, Z. So how do we get there? And it is community driven. And so um, for me, when I go to look for a place, I, I look for not really chain places, but uh, just the vibe, the 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 mom and pop, um, the vibe of just how can I get the community involved? And the other part that I like, what the other part that I that I go out and look into is um, a lot of people just don't get out, and that's where the community comes in. And so if people can find out and learn about What's other around? other businesses yes. or other places, um, you know, everybody wants to go to Starbucks. But there, I, I there, do not. That's there not are true. a lot oh, of gosh. that. That's a it's a lot of other great yes. uh, mom and pop uh, coffee shops that not only they're great coffee, but the the workers there they engage in you. They 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 take your order with the passion, is, and you're not just the number, and you're not just a macchiato. You know, mm-hmm. you're you're more than that. And so when I go out and I look at these businesses, or I go in. It's kind of like a um, uh, secret shopper. Uh, yeah. You know, you go in and you see how people treat you. 
those are the people I want to promote their business, promote their business, engage with, not directly, but indirectly, and then bring more people in involved uh, into their, their, um, place of establishment and, and also get them involved with it. And now the word gets around. So I'm a people person. And so I want the people that I'm serving to be served as well. Right. Just like how I'm trying to serve them. Do so. you guys have like a Facebook? How do people get to know about Hey Tulsa? So usually what happens is, is yes, we do have a uh, private Facebook group and it is Hey Tulsa. So go out, invite yourself or let us know and we will invite you. And that is one way. Another way is follow all of Rockford Avenue socials because they are out there. My personal social, soup social um, we have a Hey Tulsa Instagram page. Okay. It is at Hey Tulsa OK. Um, and we typically, for the event, create an event bright and blast it out to everybody. Okay. So if you're feeling like a caramel macchiato, go find Hey Tulsa, where you're not just a caramel macchiato. <laughs> you like that? Absolutely. That was Absolutely. my commercial. That's um, great. Why, why we have some fun time soup. Yes. Do your intro voice. I just I just want to catch it one time. <laughs> Oh, one you of know, his many okay, hidden hold on. talents. Let me let me, let me oh see God. if I can get uh-huh. it together. Go. Let me Here see if I can get it. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pollard Media Company, where they. <laughs> <laughs> where they what? Man, soup. What do they do? They where, take photos. <laughs> where they take photos and, <laughs> and they dive the into you. Amazing Trent <laughs> Pollard. <laughs> okay. Thanks to Trent Pollard and yes. Lori White. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> he, is, he is pretty fantastic. Quiet, but fantastic. Did you did you want to say something over there? No. I didn't. Just no. Quietly sit here. Yeah, quietly sit there. <laughs> okay, so you're taking over with some hey Tulsa doing are you guys seeing that grow? Is it growing? It is growing. Our inaugural event were our community partners, our collaborators, right? Our vendors and people who support us in the transactions. And we appreciate you for that. And the second event um, wasn't as much participation, but that was kind of like the storm's fault, not ours. What do you mean? We have storms in Oklahoma? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> that, that Father's Day storm. Um, and I could not. I was like, why? Is the participation not where I thought it would be? And then somebody said, oh, Stacy, people don't have power. It's like, oh, it made perfect sense. Mm-hmm. So then our other thing was we chose a brunch this time because we wanted to switch it up. Because yeah. when you really think about it, the moms and dads and people who are buying houses a lot of times aren't necessarily at happy hour, mm-hmm. right? Five to seven. The industry folks, we're at happy hour because sure. we need it, yeah. right? But moms and dads and folks who are ready to buy, you know, that 30-something crowd, they are at brunches. So that's why we are switching it up. And then next month, we'll do something different as well. Okay, I look forward to hearing what that is. Okay, you want now me to tell you, I mean, girl, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> okay, next get month, down. Oh, next month is gonna be amazing. So yes. what we're gonna do next month is we're gonna do back to school pictures after school starts at the gathering place. So we will have a photographer on deck and he'll take one photo of each family, whether that's one in the picture or 101 people in the picture. If you got 101, come on. <laughs> Bye. Come, on. come shake our hands and get Bye. your photo taken. Get your photo taken at the <laughs> gathering place. So that's yes. what our August event is going to be. Is there a cost for that? Nope. It is free to the public. It is free to the wow. public. Just show up. Um, and the one thing about Hey Tulsa is we wanted to make sure that our partners like our photographer, Blair Williams, a shout out to him and his amazing ability behind the camera. We wanted it to make, make sure he had the opportunity to make money as well. Right. We that. wanted him to get clients as well. So this is one of those things to give him a thank you and serve the community. I right? love that. Yeah. So I September, we're kind of up in the air about September, but we're probably looking at a rooftop somewhere in September. Okay. So I'm, out, I'm out doing the uh, research and the, the recon stuff out there. He's for on the, rooftop uh, research. Ro- oh, no. Rooftop. So if you see soup out there. <laughs> on a rooftop. You on know a rooftop, man. Doing. Come shake my hand. Let's talk. <laughs> and he's enjoying every minute of it. <laughs> you know, that's one of my favorite um, things, honestly, about Soup Carter is his energy. It's infectious. It really is. And that's why whenever, you know, it. whenever he was in the midst of trying to figure out, you know, where to go, what to do, I'm like... Hold, hold my beer. I, I'm going to introduce you to Stacy because Lord knows that energy. We got to rein it a little yes, but He's yes. a, it's, it's beautiful to watch him in action with in, in community, but also anywhere because he makes everyone feel like yeah. they have a place. Yeah. 
I'm going to use that 10 times yeah. while we're in this <laughs> video. Yeah. I like it. it All yes. things home in one place. Oh, including there's two. Including Rockford Avenue. I love it. Yeah. I love the Rockford Avenue. Okay, so let's talk about some other stuff. Come on. Soup, you got kids? Well, we, I do have two kids. Beautiful, beautiful kids. Uh, I have an 18-year-old and a 14-year-old. My 18-year-old is in, in college. So he's a uh, going to be a incoming sophomore at Southwestern Winfield, Kansas. Uh, wow. He's about 6'2", six, 6'2 two, six, two and a half. Uh, he's a guard, um, plays basketball. So, And he's uh, on the fence of either going to medical school and or wanting to be some type of either a nurse practitioner or a PA, but he's looking to um, travel abroad. So he really loves wow. the European culture. Uh, he's uh, studying uh, Spanish and stuff like that to just, uh, you know, uh, help him out along his journey. That um, is awesome. His ultimate goal is to go to the NBA, but <laughs> but uh, I but we told gotta him, have a secondary plan, guys. But we yes, got to have a secondary yeah. plan, and so he he's uh he's doing great with it. But you know he he's he really wants to get to that NBA. But I told him I say hey, you know we all dream, and I say go for it. And so uh, he's really really uh, hounding that. But he's a great student as well too. So uh, I believe he has his first B. And it came at as a freshman in college last year, wow. and it was a eighty nine, oh. and he and he was like, "Man, that I tried, I tried, I tried to get that A," and so oh. it, he was a little bummed about it. So that just right there shows you a little bit Absolutely about his character. Mm -hmm. And then my fourteen year old, um, he's a man, he's a go getter. He's he's about five nine, five eight, five nine, still growing. Um, he plays basketball. He also runs track. Great student, uh, straight A student. I didn't realize that I had straight A student kids, but he's like, "Look like, what I did!" And, and, yeah, and, and I come Clearly home. That's they mama. <laughs> and I, I, you know, one day I asked them, and I said, "Man, uh, they they were they were saying something like, yeah, Dad, I got a hundred and six in this class.'" And I was like, "How do you get a hundred and six? I'm like, you got a fever?" And uh, <laughs> what? And so with that, uh, I was like, and this is just. Not to toot my own horn and stuff like that, but who you? I, yeah, I know, right? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I see their character is that they care for other people, and so yeah. my fourteen year old was like, "Dad, I, I I probably should help other people," uh, and I was like, "Yeah, you got one hundred and six in the math class, like, really? Come on, man! Like, uh, what do the other person have?" And so he goes over there and help them. So, but his journey also is, of course, he wants to go to the NBA, but. He's a um, a photographer. Just started a business. Um, he's really learning how the the camera works. He likes to be behind the scenes on things like that. Uh, very quiet, quiet from me. Kind of like someone else we know. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, Trent, maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> a little, little Trent, Trent back there. Yeah. Back there. <laughs> so uh, it's a uh, it's it's just good to see two young teenagers uh, just going after their uh, uh, goals and dreams. And I, I do have to say thanks to Rockford Avenue, Stacey Turner herself, because that has made me more of a man and make me go after a dream that I never knew I, I had in yeah. store. So it, it, it just kind of rubbing off on me onto them to see their work that they, mm -hmm. to see how they're going to project their future as well. So, well, and you're taking control of it, you're executing it, but you're also giving back to the community. And that's, yes. that's a huge thing, you know, as you're building culture, whether it be with a team, a brokerage, a branch, a division, a, whatever your thing is, as you're building, it's really important to have that culture and to be teaching because you have little eyes, whether you have kids or nieces or nephews, little eyes are always looking up to someone. And so it's really cool to see that you guys are structured around supporting the community, being involved in the community, giving back to the community. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Stacy, you got kids? No, I have adults. <laughs> oh, like that. I have adults. Some of us are like, I can't wait to be where you are. <laughs> They, She's like, do you see how relaxed I look? I have adults. I have adults. Um, they're 34, 29, 27, and 25. And I have two grandkids that are 7 and 11. Um, my oldest works for a nonprofit. Thank God she's out of my pocket for a minute. <laughs> that second one works for an international school where they teach English as a second language. So very okay. much involved in um, international affairs and all that kind of stuff. That third one is a... Um, deputy sheriff 
Oh, gotta wow. say it right because he's correcting me every time. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Exactly. In, Thank you. Um, St. Jefferson's Parish in the New Orleans area. And the baby is actually in real estate. He sells, buys, and flips in San Diego. That is fancy. Right. I love that. I have two kids and only one of them wants to do real estate, but uh, the other one is like, um, I feel like I just need to find like a rich husband. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start praying and asking God, may he have all these certain traits. Yes, baby girl. Uh, well, and you know, that, that last one in real estate, of course, he thinks he knows it all, but he thinks he knows it all because he lives in San Diego in like a shack. You know, he can buy it at 400000 fix it up and sell it at one point five. I can't wait. And it. walk out with, you know, half a million plus. So he thinks he knows more than mama. And as long as he's paying his own bills, I'm going to let him think that. Mm -hmm, but honey, you do not. But you go ahead and do you, boo. <laughs> exactly. Do you. Exactly. Well, I appreciate you guys. And I really am glad that we kind of cleared the air because I, I have heard a lot of questions. Um, a lot of people have asked, like, what is this place thing? And so it was really important for us to kind of go ahead and start just explaining it. So people mm -hmm. are aware, like, no, it's not a brokerage. Um, because I think that's kind of what the narrative or the assumption has been like, it's mm -hmm. its own thing. Yeah. And, um, so I really appreciate you guys kind of explaining what it is in Rockford Avenue. Um, are you guys welcoming people on deck or how do they go Absolutely. about that? Absolutely. If someone is interested, just reach out to me, hit me on my socials, email me, email me at Stacy at Rockford Ave.com. Call me at 832-504-5297. I'm always interested, but I will say I'm about productivity. The team is about productivity, right? Um, traditional brokerages pretty much let you walk in and do what you do. What you do. My job is to help you build your business. So mm -hmm. and in order to do that, you've got to plug into the tools. I'll give you the tools. I'll show you the tools. I'll show you how. But you've got to plug in. You know, one of my favorite things, Stacey, was when when you met with Soup, you know, he obviously had come back after you guys met. And I like the fact that you don't recruit. Um, so often these newer agents, as they're coming in, it's like they're getting recruited from every direction mm -hmm. and getting sold to, if you will, mm -hmm. instead of someone just sitting back and saying, I'm going to give you information. I'm going to explain this to you. If you have questions, I'm here. And when Soup came back, he was like, she literally just had a conversation explained. Like <laughs> it wasn't, he didn't feel the pressure. Yeah. And I mean, which is what helped to make the decision. Cause he's like, I like that swag. Right. Like she yeah. was just super chill and like, this may be the right fit. It may not be the right yeah. fit. That's okay. So thank you for being um, very transparent, but not pushy and not salesy with it. Well, and I think that's the thing because Again, the industry has changed. Yeah, it really and has. and the bigger you know the bigger teams and I say the bigger brokerages, but I'm just doing business differently. Yeah, when I got in in 2017, it was never my plan to be a team lead, but I realized the gaps and I realized that I missed the training, coaching, mentoring, sharing sure. of information. So I thought, why not? So I know the value of place, and yeah. I also know my own value. So well, and it's not for everyone, you know, yeah. thankfully when Soup was asking the right questions, you know, his thing was he didn't want to be part of a huge brokerage. He had no interest in that. He wanted that tight knit family camaraderie. Mm -hmm. Like he knew what he wanted, which yep. made it very easy because, you know, one of the great things about being out in the industry, as much as I am, I get to know a lot of different people exactly. and a lot of different elements. And it's not that I'm partial to anything. It's for me, it's like matchmaking in the industry. And it's like, okay, this personality goes with that personality, mm -hmm. whether it be lender to realtor or realtor to to whatever, you know, my thing is, is I try to match them according to what they're saying they need, mm -hmm. the needs that they're not saying they need, but mm -hmm. I'm like, what you do need. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and then also respecting, yes. like some people want to be in the big, the, the mm -hmm. big clubs. Some people are like, I, that's overwhelming to me. I, right. I feel lost. Absolutely. And he was able to do that. So if you are a new agent and you're feeling this way, or you feeling like you need to shift kind of like soup did let's chat. If you, you know, if you are nervous about reaching out to super Stacey, they don't bite. Um, Stacy a little sometimes. Maybe. I'm just Only kidding. If you want to. Um, She's but very you guys gentle, can though. always She's reach gentle. out to me because um, whether it's place or anywhere else, that's a big part of how Soup and I were able to connect. And, you know, now seeing you guys growing this and being involved in the community, um, I think Hey Tulsa is a beautiful thing. 
um, it was really cool to see so much community. Um, I went with them um, over at 473, and it was a pretty amazing event with I, I love that it was not specific to real estate. No. Like it was such a variety of people and everyone felt welcome. They felt like they had a place. Yes. That's three. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We got a, we got a place for you. Yeah. You know, That's come four. On. And you so. know, the one thing that I will say, and I was telling somebody earlier today, and I think it was the team that first and foremost, when you get into something that you have no idea what you're doing, it's okay to not know. Right. Yes. And it, but it's even better to plug into people that do. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to plug into not necessarily the wrong people, but just the wrong environment. Yeah. And once you find your place, you're you're cool. So I will say this. So when I decided to create Rockford Avenue, because I know Lori has her ear to the real estate industry in Tulsa. She was one of the first people that I called. And I was like, okay, chick, I'm getting ready to create this team <laughs> and I'm looking for people. And she was like, oh my God, I got the perfect person, Sue. And I was like, as in Campbell's? <laughs> she sure did. And she said, yeah, but I don't think that's his real name, but that's the name he goes by. And I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> if you say so, because she knows me pretty well. And, you know, place... Rockford Avenue isn't for everybody because right. we're about productivity. You know, he'll tell you, I'll say, mm, how many calls did you make today? Mm, you only made two. You were supposed to make 10 or you were supposed to make 15 mm -hmm. because of the technology that I have. I can tell how many calls that he's Right. Made. And it's the accountability. Absolutely. It's the accountability sure. that most agents need but swear up and down they don't mm -hmm. because they close X amount of deals. Right. But if you mm -hmm. get that time back, not having to do the TC and the TC and the operations piece and you have someone holding you accountable. Yeah. You did 10 this year. Mm -hmm. You could do 25 next year. Right. You know, you can have the same opportunities to build a team. Like I'm building a team with all of the same support. Well, you know, and I think that's, a, you know, I, I never want people to have, there is a plate, no pun intended this time. I'm not going <laughs> to count it as number six, um, but there is a place for, for everyone somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. And there's no, like I would never, there's no bad brokerages. There's nope. no bad teams. It's just a mismatch. Either Correct. there is a, there is a breakdown in either support, fundamentals, personalities, whatever that is, but they're all good. It's just finding your, your tribe and yep. your people. Yeah. And it, you know, I, I've had agents who are like, I've moved three different times and move a fourth. If it's not working, yeah. you keep on moving down the road until you find the, the place. Here we go. There we go. You until you find the place that, that works. That you, but, that you belong but in. for yes. real though. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's all about being able to identify that yeah. this isn't working. Yeah. I'm like, listen, real estate brokerages are like relationshiping. Okay. If you are single <laughs> and dating, you're like, bro, I don't like speed this dating. style. I'm done. It's yeah. speed dating. Yeah, absolutely. And like, don't hang in that relationship just because you feel like what? <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Wait, I will say, the other thing uh -huh. too is you have to, it, it, the tribe is the, the best way to, to describe it. And I know that's not a, a a friendly word, but you have to find your people and you mm -hmm. have to find not only your people, the people who are willing to invest in you Amen. because what they tell you in real estate school is not what reality is in these streets. What they tell you in these training classes is not reality. It's all theory until you get a transaction mm -hmm. and that transaction, that first transaction and that 25th transaction is going to be different. And those 24 transactions in between, between them will all be different. So you're starting yeah. over every time you have a transaction mm -hmm. yeah. in my mind, you're learning, but it, it is a new experience every time. And I, I love it. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was going to add to that same deal is that Stacy is not pushy. She didn't come off as pushy salesy. She makes it very, very comfortable for all of her agents. And although I don't like it when <laughs> sometimes when she say, Hey, you need to go and, <laughs> and call that person or call this person or whatnot. I had a, a lead come through the other day and, and, uh, she was on it. I mean, as soon as it hit her phone, I promise you, I don't think it was less, it was less than 10 seconds. Uh, did, did, did you call that person? I'm like, huh? I'm already on it. So I'm all, I'm, I'm getting used to it. And so, yeah. but it's, it is, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. She don't make it. It is a business. It's your sure. business. It's the industry is a business. 
but you can make it fun. It's mm-hmm. it's not all uptight. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you gotta you gotta sit there and do X Y Z. She wants you to have fun with your business. She wants you, that. and that's what place is about as well too. So when you dive into place and Rockford Avenue, and then you put the the agents underneath that umbrella, you you're going to get whether it's Stacy, myself, or the other ones uh, in our group. You you're going to get the same. The, the, the chain moves yeah, and it, it moves in sync. Mm-hmm. And so uh, with, with that being said, like we, we have, I have found my place and I'll say it. I found my place and, and, mm-hmm. and it's, a, it was a struggle at first because I didn't know all the ins and outs, but, and it was sometimes we have butted heads and I was like, Oh my gosh, Stacey, I don't know. I don't know. And she was like, just breathe. What, 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 what you, what you nervous for? What you scared for? And so now I do have that friend. I do have that mm-hmm. colleague that I can call that. I try not to make too many phone calls at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she put me on, <laughs> she put me on D and D the uh-huh. other day. And I said, She's notify anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there was a thing on Facebook that said, what do I do with this? And it was that notify anyway. <laughs> do I hit notify anyway? I'm like, yeah. Yes. Boop. And so uh, I, I really do appreciate, I appreciate Stacy Rockford Avenue powered by place. And and also, you know, give shout outs to Keller Williams as well. Um, so I, I really do appreciate uh the industry and uh because it, it has given me a platform yeah. that I can open my wings up and 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 just allow people to see me glow the way I've been wanting to glow. Not not gloat, but I want you to see me glow because I want you to glow with me. Mm-hmm. So I love that. Look I at him go. Yeah. Aren't you proud of him, Mama <laughs> Bear? Look at him. He does listen. And he does call at 9 30. <laughs> hey, that's, and you even know, though what? the phone goes on D and by itself, but you and know. ding, and you're like, uh, he soup. hit notify. <laughs> soup Carter. Soup Carter. And usually I do respond mm-hmm. because I Absolutely. feel like this. If he's working at 9, 930, my mantra is this. If I got to work, everybody got to work. Uh, it's yeah. like so, if mama doing it, we all doing we it. We all Absolutely. doing it. So if he's working at 9, 930 at night and he has a client and he doesn't know the question or have an answer, that is my commitment to his business is to help him sure. with those answers. I love we that. laugh about it, but I'd be like, my mother even says, you on the phone with Sue? <laughs> yes, my mom, I'm on the phone with Sue. <laughs> but what a great guy to be on the phone I with. I know. <laughs> well, thank you guys for being here today. Thank you for sharing um, about your business as well as everything that you're doing in the community. I wish you both nothing but success and tons of love. Excited to see the team continue to expand. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of things on the horizon, so I, I'm excited to oh, see, yeah. um, where, where places place is. I think that counts all 10 of my places <laughs> <laughs> and I did it. Um, thank as always, I want to thank, um, Trent Pollard with Pollard media for always being, being here, even though he's not here, he's over there. Um, and Titan title for allowing, you know, all of us to come together, um, and serving you guys. Thank you for your loyalty to us. And thank you guys for watching Tulsa Uncut. Again, if you need to find your place, there it is. Rockford Avenue. We here. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Bye.